from hand to table. Have you ever wondered how an egg is made? Well, today we will be tackling just that. I will be giving a brief presentation about the female avian reproductive system. The female reproductive system in the domestic fowl consists of the ovary and accompanying oviduct. While the female embryo in chicken has two sets of reproductive organs, only one of these, the left side, survives and reaches maturity to produce eggs. The single surviving ovary is located in the laying hen just in front of the kidneys in the abdominal cavity. The ovary is well endowed with blood vessels to ensure there is no hindrance to the transport of nutrients to the developing yolk. The ovary consists of a mass of yellowish, round objects called follicles, each containing an ovum or yolk. It is important to note that there is a hierarchy between these follicles, meaning the largest one ovulates first, then the second, and so on. As the ovum develop and get larger, you can see the stigma line, which is the clear line on each ovum. This is where the yolk is released. It is possible to find five stages of development in the active ovary. First, we have the primary follicles. These are the follicles that have not yet commenced to grow. Next is the growing follicles. Third is the mature follicles or the ones that are ready or nearly so for release. Fourth is the discharged follicles where the yolk has just been released. And lastly, we have the athletic follicles, those from which the yolk has been released some time ago. The function of the oviduct is to produce the albumin, shell membranes, and the shell around the yolk to complete the egg. It is a long tube well supplied with blood via numerous blood vessels. The oviduct consists of the five distinct parts or sections each having different functions. First, we have the infundibulum or the funnel. It engulfs the ovum and it is the site of fertilization at 15 to 30 minutes. Next, we have the ampulla or the magnum, which is the longest part, approximately 40 centimeters, and secretes more than 40% of the albumin. Next, we have the isthmus. It is where the egg remains for 1 to 1.5 hours. This is also where the inner and the outer shell membranes are deposited. The next section of the oviduct is the shell gland or the uterus. It is 4 to 5 inches long. In this section, the shell forms on the egg. The shell is largely made of calcium carbonate and the hen's body mobilizes 8 to 10% of the body calcium from its bone to make the egg's shell. Bone calcium provides 47% of the calcium required to make a shell and the hen's diet provides the remainder. Pigment deposition, if there is any, occurs in the shell gland. The egg remains here for 20 or more hours. The last section of the oviduct is the vagina, which is about 4 to 5 inches long. The vagina does not really play a part in egg formation but is important in the laying of the egg. The vagina is made of muscle that helps push the egg out of the hen's body. The bloom or cuticle forms on the egg in the vagina prior to oviposition or the laying of the fully formed egg. The egg travels through the oviduct small and first but turns in the vagina and comes out large and first. Near the junction of the shell gland and the vagina are deep glands known as sperm host glands that can store sperm for long periods of time typically 10 days to 2 weeks. When a hen lays an egg, sperm can be squeezed out of these glands into the oviduct 
and then can migrate to the infundibulum to fertilize an ovum. And that would be all for my presentation. Thank you for listening. And before I go, to brighten up everyone's day, here is a chicken dancing. <laughs>